I want to briefly talk about that, but, but that all pales in significance to how do you take something so obvious and so simple, but so obvious and simple and so over the top, people can't even register it, that we have to invade Iraq now to kick Al-Qaeda out when the door was open and the weapons were given to them. We've been talking about it at nauseum, writing hundreds of articles about it, giving them a Western base to attack uh, Syria, Western base in Iraq, predicting all of this. And now Al Qaeda is rounding up Shiites and others and, and other non-Muslims and just uh, just just in, uh, taking over to crit, executing people. Uh, I mean, you fought, I know, all over Iraq. What is this like for you to see this happening now? I mean, I was never for the war in the first place. Let's clarify that. But you know, the fact that a lot of Americans died for this, and now this is happening, it's like they died for nothing. And they keep saying well, we're not going to have you know any more boots on ground, but You've got to have boots on the ground to coordinate those air attacks to hit those targets for your manned aircraft, not your predators, but, you know, something like that. So there's going to have to be boots on ground coming up. It's just going to happen. Well, there's already contractors there. But the point is the contractors have been there for three years arming al-Qaeda. This is, this is NATO's al-Qaeda army to destabilize the Middle East. I've said it hundreds of times. That's the plan. Now they're doing it. And Obama is the savior? Fighting people, he that was what Benghazi was about. Yeah, I, I just... How do you explain to people, the globalists create the crisis to then be able to go in? How do you explain that to them? I don't think there's a way. I just, I, 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 I don't, it, it, it just pisses me off to see that we've gone through this much to try to get people out. And we're letting this fall all over again. I mean, it's for nothing. It's a slap in the face. It's another failure for us. It, I, just watching this every day, it just breaks my heart to see it. And like you said, the contractors who go out there who drive the trucks, those guys are getting killed left and right all the time, just in drones. I mean, 25-year-old guys with families just getting blown up every day, and you never hear about it for nothing, though. And I think it's interesting that it's perfectly timed with them saying, well, we're going to you know, pull out and stop having a, a big of reach in the foreign you know, countries. We're going to focus on home. And then now all of a sudden, oh, sorry, we can't. We got to go back to Iraq. We thought we were going to pull it. But uh, where's the congressional it. investigations? Yeah. We finally got them to go. Why have we given Al Qaeda a base in Western Iraq, one in Eastern Iraq to attack Iran? And now that very group is taking over because Saudi Arabia is being given the whole Middle East as their deal for participating in 9 11. Yeah. This transcends Obama. This is beyond. And the thing is, it's not my opinion. It's hiding in plain view. Leanne, you've got some good news about activism and the move to get beer companies to release what's in it. That's going to come up in the next segment. I want to finish up with what happened to you last night, Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs. Yeah, I went to a Brook Army Medical Facility in San Antonio last night. And, uh, you know, much like a lot of the media out there, I was out there waiting Birdle's return. And I wanted to go and see if I could see what was going on. So the mainstream media was stuck outside. They were all at a main entrance to the uh, facility, outside lined up, filming inside. I went on a uh, base and just started walking around the hospital, you know, talking to people, asking them. By the way, real reporters always did that in the past too. They didn't just do what they were told. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, apparently, <laughs> apparently that's not good because they got mad. They're like, you know, you're supposed to sit out there with those guys. You can't be coming in here. That's not what you're supposed to do. Well, I mean, that is what I'm supposed to do. And we've got a video clip after they told you to go to the front gate. What did they say to you? He said, don't forget what happened to APL. So for everyone who doesn't remember, David Knight and I went up to AP Hill and went and did an investigation up there at a martial law training facility. They held you for about three hours. Yeah. But, but I mean, is that a threat? Or I don't, I don't, well, what's going to happen? I don't well, he said, my, he looked at me pointed and he says, my boss told me to remind you, don't forget AP Hill. So I guess that just means we're watching you. Yeah. Like we're bad because we want to ask Bergdahl a question. But right now they're saying that Bergdahl got on uh, on the facility. That, I don't know how is possible because mainstream, they, there's only two entrances into that facility. They had that whole area with camera crews set up on every side of the road and on the other side. And then me and Josh were inside the hospital. Like there was two entrances that were open to there where the ambulances come in because they got, they took. By the way, the footage you guys shot of the illegal aliens in San Antonio that's all over national fox news right yeah. now with no credit yeah they it's one thing and they want to grab it but cover the bug up yeah i mean how they won't go do the reporting they'll just take our work and give us no credit 
Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're too cowardly to get out there and actually do real work. Well, I don't want you to get, listen. We need to talk to some lawyers or stuff. I mean, you're more of an expert on this than I am. Uh, you're happy to go on these bases. There's nothing wrong with being a reporter and using the fact that you've got military idea to go on them. And you're honest that you're a reporter. I, I kind of looked it up, and, and, and there shouldn't be a problem. They shouldn't be able to threaten your pension or threaten you. Uh, but, but I know some of that's gone on as well. Yeah, he's th they threatened me with that yesterday as well. Yeah, yeah so, but I mean... They're not allowed to take your pension because you go on military bases, are they? I mean, I gave them the ID and said who I was and what I was doing. I mean, and then one of the guys said that uh, he's like, what are you here for? And I said, oh, I'm waiting on a buddy real quick. He's inside the, uh, the restroom at the ER. So then he took that as I was waiting on someone in the ER and then said, well, you don't need to be here right now if you're not waiting right here. Well, they twisted to say you were lying. Yeah. And then he took me down to a basement <laughs> in the, at like four o'clock in the morning. We're going to play a clip of that when we come back and then get to this good news with Leanne McAdoo. You can uh, check out the video feed at infowars.com forward slash show if you want to see the video. This sounds metal. All of you do. Uh, we're going to break down uh, what happened there and then get to some good news with Leanne. Here is that clip from the base, Fort Sam Houston. And then there's a base that's, th that connects to that. What was the specific name of the hospital or base you were at? Brook Army Medical Facility. Brook Army Medical, and that's on Fort Sam Houston. Yeah, it's right connected to it. Yeah, I know technically it's got a different name. That confuses me. Uh, let's go to this uh, video clip. Long and wait with everybody else so they can come back tomorrow and wait out front. Okay. So who's who's out there? Doesn't need to be. Whoever's on the main gate out there. Okay. Please do that. Well, I gave I, I made a copy of it. I gave it back to him. Yeah. Okay. okay. They were leading us out to take us back to our uh, car to escort us out of there. This is down in the basement area. Well, there you have it. Once again, American citizens get treated like crap. And meanwhile, there's a whole bunch of illegal immigrants right over here just chilling, having a good time. This is what America's come to. Do is go out there to the, uh, the parking lot. Yes. And you hang out over there. If you guys got to take any pictures or anything like that, Roger. you just can't take any pictures of the gate. You got to take pictures of Samson. That's it. Roger. If We're leaving. Okay, if y'all need to contact anybody, contact Public Affairs Office. Roger. Major Bono, or I believe the other guy's name is uh, Dewey Mitchell. Roger. All right. Also, uh, are you familiar with a place called AP Hills? Roger. Okay, so you know what happened there? Yes. Okay, my boss wanted to remind you that that, that uh, next time it could, it could happen again. And again, right there by the base is 2,000 legals, literally like they're on vacation or something playing soccer with with HEB meals being delivered to them complaining about it. Right. Yeah. And 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 you're you're a reporter you're bad. Yeah, I'm evil. I'm a I'm not one of those new dreamers apparently. <laughs> you're an honorably discharged combat vet, you're bad. So you get uh, taken to the basement. <laughs> yeah, take it to the basement. <laughs> Leanne Give us the good news. We've got some good news here about the power of the people, the power of this show. Because this was launched on this show. She chooses this show above CNN, Fox to launch stuff on. She goes on all that after. And she credits this broadcast. Credits you, the food babe. Exactly. And, and we've got Leanne to break it down. Yes, exactly. So less than 24 hours, you know, it was she launched the petition yesterday on this show, the food babe, saying, you know, it's time for beer makers to post their ingredients She's not even saying on the bottle, just post them online. And later that evening, uh, Anheuser-Busch and Miller Coors announced that they were going to be posting the ingredients. Um, initially, Anheuser-Busch, they've done Budweiser and Bud Light. So they've put their two you know, most popular brands, their ingredients are up online now. And then they're going to be releasing the rest of them soon. So now it's a matter of... Just because we demanded it. Absolutely. Because they've seen the power of, of people not complying. Yeah. This is the power of the market with your votes, with what you purchase. Yeah, and that's exactly what they said. You know, as American consumer needs evolve, we want to meet their expectations. And so that's what our, our needs are evolving. We're demanding, label this stuff. What are you giving? Nothing us? can stop a well-spoken pretty girl just asking for something reasonable. Right. That's why 80% of advertising targets women, because men follow women. <laughs> and we need to get the women woke up in this country.
And, and when they do it, it's over for the establishment. Right. We are very powerful. Like we say on the show all the time, that's the corporations, you know, running the world and everything. But the consumers run the corporations. That's right. And women are the main consumers. Stay there, Leanne. Let's come back with five more minutes Thank on this. For and then we've got our guest coming up, Krieger, on the latest banking scams. And then I'm going to break down today. the biggest story. I mean, it's just, it's huge. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Waging war.